All right, uh, everyone, uh, another quick one today. So I found uh, more of my tools and stuff uh, out of storage, and I found my some of the Marlburians I was working on before I left. Um, and I could not find the, the this part of this brigade that I had completed, um, but I'll go look again, and it'll turn up probably. Uh, as you can see, primed and white because they're Austrians. Um, and I'll probably do that for the rest of them, just so the color is consistent, even though priming in white, uh, generally not a great idea. Um, but I uh, have uh, a little bit of a conundrum uh, in building them. Um, and uh, just as a side note, I find the assembling miniatures kind of relaxing. Um, but anyway, uh, so these sprues give you um, the heads to make grenadiers, and I've been trying to just do some basic uh, internet searching, uh, and also looking at a book, which I will show real quick. Uh, this one, uh, Wars and Soldiers in the Early Reign of Louis XIV, uh, the Imperial Army, uh, so covers Austria, of course, and also the... Uh, Holy Roman Empire, uh, but it does not, or at least maybe I wasn't reading carefully enough, does not cover how, if they used grenadiers, um, and if the grenadiers were organized into brigades, or they were just attached to infantry brigades. Um, so I'm not sure what to do with those heads, uh, and I would like to know, because I'm genuinely curious, um, and I have, you know, so it's just a head swap. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Um, uh, sorry, the focus is kind of bad. It's, it, you know, it's not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, I just want to find out, uh, and it's my little Marlborian, uh, mystery, if you'll excuse the bad, uh, joke. Um... But uh, anyway, because I have this whole starter army I barely even touched. I bought it during uh, when the lockdown's really bad, thinking I will put all this together, and obviously it hasn't happened, so... Um, and I don't really have the money right now, unfortunately, to uh, buy more miniatures. And I've got plenty to do anyway, so... Uh, I will be working on this, I think, and trying to get, you know, just keep working on this um yeah and then i also have the officer one of the officers uh this was kind of a pain to glue onto the base um because the hoofs are really small uh, but i think if i get this guy painted up he will look pretty good um i think for his coat i'll do a, a lighter uh white uh pure more of a pure white for his since he's an officer and then just showing uh, one of these guys, one of my uh, artillery crew. I think the the color on the coat, on the jackets, turned out pretty good. Um, I'm horrible at painting faces, so that looks really bad. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think they turned out okay. That's the artillery crew that I showed on a previous video. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's my little mystery. If anybody knows anything about... How, you know, grenadiers were used, you know, we could say the War of the Grand Alliance to the Spanish, War of Spanish Succession, because um, that's kind of what this force is going to be used for, uh, and, and of course, Great Turkish War. Um, uh, yeah, just wondering about the grenadier thing, and if anybody knows, like I said, please uh, leave a comment, and um, yeah, I'm assembling away these other Marlborian guys. So, that's what I've got, and uh, kind of a boring video, sorry about that, uh, but uh, yeah, just show them what I'm working on, and uh, still working on more of the Flames of War stuff, actually, I'll go ahead and show that real quick, uh, did this, uh, whoop, did this command stand uh, just yesterday, uh, so, very, oh, very tiny. Uh, yep, did that command stand for Flames of War. 
All right, that's the, uh, all right, now that's the video, uh, and I will talk to y'all in the next one.